Welcome to this video. I'm playing Blitz Rider from Sweden. Playing a weird line here with 92, but this is uh, far better than it uh, than it looks. The idea is that here I'm going to play with B4 and um, prevent the C5 the C5 break. It's also C4 coming. Yeah, it looks strange, but it has been played a number of times already by some very strong players. And uh, I can even uh, mention the world champion here, Carlsen. He has played this 92 line in um, a number of Blitz games. So it's not one of those, um, yeah, main big big opening weapons that uh, that. Um, weapon that is uh, that is used in serious games let's say but one of those offbeat little lines that um, are very nice to play once in a while especially in uh, quicker time controls okay let's see maybe hmm, I don't know maybe bishop a3 to keep c5 under control mm -hmm, yeah to get castled here. I need something to drink. <laughs> it's also very important. Let's see. Maybe knight to b6. Huh? It's maybe trying to... No, he's not. So maybe I should just just take here. Hmm. Yeah, that's... CD5 is a bit... Um... It's a bit lame. I don't really fear e5 very much, but maybe queen a4 and then knight b6. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's not good. Takes, takes. Okay. Maybe, maybe still. Yeah, CD5, I guess. Knight D5 looks strange. Um, yeah, if he goes E5, he will still have an isolated queen pawn at the end. Uh, but maybe somehow I think that maybe white has still a very slight pull here. I'm somewhat quicker on those files, B and C file. Well, I'm not sure about this decision. Maybe it is good anyway because he he needs to um, get get something going here. But still, okay, take and now bishop to b2 maybe and then bishop d4 hmm. or bishop b2. Yeah, d4 is not possible. I think I have knight f3. D4 bishop d4 queen d4 is. An embarrassing little tactic. Wow, to h5. <laughs> yeah, this this I don't believe really. Why would you put the knight on the edge of the, uh, the rook on the edge of the board? Was this necessary? He could have gone just back to e8 or to e6 or something. Now the rook is just out offside here. Okay, bishop to where d4. I guess yeah, that's that's a very stable square. And now I, I have a, a real idea in the position. Try to play against this, this stranded rook. If he takes here, I can even take with the pawn. No? The rook on, on h5 is the issue now. Rook b1, maybe. I can, by the way, I can try to, to trap the rook. I can go to h6, g4, rook h6 is not a good idea. Okay, what I want to do is I want to exchange the b8 rook. Okay. He maybe really wants to go to c3 yeah, with, with his knight. Possible. Okay. Going to activate the queen. Threaten rook a6. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can I can take on B4 and take on uh, and play Rook C8. Yeah. Is he able to prevent this in some way? I don't I don't see see it. Let's do it. Rook C8 now. Wins the queen. Maybe knight c5 or something. Yeah, but I have queen b6. So. Queen b6 and, and winning or not. It's, it's enough at least. Maybe there's something better, but this, this is winning. Queen takes, rook takes, saving saving the rook and both bishop and knight are hanging yeah rook h5 really was a weird move basically deciding okay i don't need this piece anymore i put it on h5 <clears throat> yeah and if he moves the queen i'm going to take d4 with the rook saving the rook and taking the bishop in one move Yeah, he's trying to find some sort of trick here. I don't believe there is there is one. Okay, he's playing without the whole rook on h5. Is he still connected? We can check that. Hmm. Yeah, he was connected. Okay, well, I can take rook d4 now, right? There is no drawback to that. Okay, mm, can I play with this? I can play queen b7 anyway. With the uh, rook c8 coming, I can also just retreat the rook. <laughs> I mean, it's really just an extra rook. continuing rook h2 there's rook takes um, f8 check Queen takes, I'll take the rook, and king takes, I have this, and Check. knight f5 winning the queen next. Check. That checkmate, hmm, maybe, but let's just take the queen. Check. 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 And queen g3 mate. Checkmate. Yeah, this was all due to rook h5. I think um, if he goes just back, maybe e6, I don't know. But I probably would have just played rook e8 back. Makes uh, the most sense, I guess. And then white is going here. And this is hmm, very, very slightly better for white. Yeah, he's got 
d5 as a weakness and a5 is also a bit weaker than a2 it's uh, just a bit exposed but hmm, it's very little maybe for a very good technical player um, this is this is very very nice but um, I think it's a slight edge for white it's nothing too serious and after rook h5 uh, um, I think black is in big trouble I mean he, he's really playing without this piece he could have played uh, played better for sure but oh here I was here oh ooh, 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 this is a blunder ah, I, I forgot about night I forgot about the capture ah this this would have been very embarrassing huh? we can take here and here and then play knight c3 I totally overlooked that Yeah, white has a number of good um, good options. Probably something something easy is is this. Then rook c1 or maybe um, rook c6. These kind of moves. Yeah, but this this now was. Uh, <laughs> I can also take on b4 and on g7 now. But this also seemed fine. But, uh, here, well, yeah, this is just just winning. He could he could have taken here. And taken here I still thought that would be very nice for white but the computer is not agreeing at all Ah, I see okay I wanted to take with the pawn actually as this is maybe Queen h4 I don't know so I wanted to take here but now the computer points out this move and this is strong the idea is to at the right moment sacrifice here for example if we consider this he can Check. do something like that and this is a draw. Check. Yeah, I didn't really refute it. I didn't really refute um, rook h5 convincingly. Especially rook p1 is a big problem, big lemon. Yeah, I, I should probably take and just keep the, the big advantage. Okay, thanks for watching.